What do you do when disaster strikes? Get prepared and get out if an evacuation is ordered. When your home, belongings, and normalcy are taken away in an instant. Every family must be prepared. Some may allow the disaster to consume them, but others, they face the adversity head first, adamant to come together with others to overcome even the strongest of storms. On October 10th, 2018, disaster struck Northwest Florida, devastating the coastal and inland cities of the Panhandle, causing many residents of places like Panama City to lose everything they own. And while some only talked about helping, others took initiative moving in to help those still weathering the storm's devastating aftermath. FSU sophomore swimmer Patrick Bukovich did exactly that, as the Cincinnati, Ohio native led 40 Florida State student athletes to Panama City to help clean up some of the mess Hurricane Michael left behind. We have the resources here. Obviously, a lot of people from Panama are Florida State fans, and I have access to the athletes who are some of the most well-known people on campus. So why not put something together where we can bring these people out and just give a little hope? And with the help of FSU athletic administrators Ashton Henderson and Sarah Petronio, he was able to plan and coordinate the group trip to the coast. I'm just, my heart is so full right now to, to see all the student athletes really get behind him and just the, the amount of turnout where they could be doing something else with their time. Because uh, it is their off day, they could just be doing that. But we're really grateful that they came and decided to give back. These student athletes, on their off day, began the day cleaning up debris on the beach and finished by adding and spreading mulch in a downtown park. Of the 40 student athletes that made the venture, four are from Panama City and were more than happy to take part in the reconstructing of their home, especially since some of them lost almost everything to Hurricane Michael. Uh, the storm had a you know a major impact on me and my family. We lost our whole house, you know, everything that we owned. So you know, it's been a tough six months, but you know, it's going to get better, and it's just you know something that's just going to take time to get better with. These students weren't alone in their efforts. Faculty, staff and students from the FSU Panama City campus came to lend a helping hand and express their appreciation. We are very, very thankful for the opportunity for FSU Tallahassee students to, to come here. A lot of them, it's their first time here. Uh, I know that the news cycle did not give a lot of uh, attention on this, you know, because there was a lot of other things that was happening immediately after Hurricane Michael, but it gives students a first opportunity to not only see what actually happened here, to gain an understanding of what we're still dealing with, but also to play a critical role in the rebuilding. Um, I'm so proud of our student athletes here today, uh, working with some students here in Panama City, coming, coming from Tallahassee uh, at their own initiative to help clean up the area. You know, everybody's been working to clean up the area because um, the more debris we can get removed, um, everybody will begin to see a return to normalcy. This constant struggle to regain that sense of normalcy has brought some relief from how bad the damages were just six months ago. One of the critical things about the students being here from FSU Tallahassee is that we're just not telling people how much we care. We are actually showing people how much we care about rebuilding Northwest Florida. I still remember one of our faculty members telling me the story that they, they wrote it out in their home and then um, as their home started shaking and the roof started coming off, she and her husband said their goodbyes to each other. You know, but they're, but they're still here today. The beauty of hardships and adversity is that they don't last forever. And in the case of the Florida State family and community, when disaster strikes, we stand as one, forever unconquered. I'm Brandon Spencer for Seminole Sports Magazine.